What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Welcome back to another PTR News show. We are here with Rival Racers joining us. Rival Racers, say hi. What's up? How's it going? There we go. There we go. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining in who is in the chat. I see a lot of people watching today. If you're watching this live, thank you very much for joining in. If you guys have any big questions or anything, uh, we'll try to catch them during the actual show. And uh, if not, we'll wait till the end. We'll, we'll do a little bit more of a Q&A about cars. We'll talk more about cars at the end. So thank you very much. Also, two of the moderators in the chat, we got Javier in there and Rival, of course, who's on stream with us and in the chat moderating. So thank you very much, guys. All right, we're gonna get right to it. We got tons of stuff to talk about today. There is so many new main lines that have been released. They actually were just released yesterday. So uh, make sure you guys catch that. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, all right, all right, let's uh, move on over. Uh, one second, one second. We'll switch on over right there. There we go. Our first one, our first one, our first one right here. Uh, we got, uh, uh, hold on one second. We got, we got, we got the McLaren Senna here. One second. All right. All right. We're good. Gravel. I hear lots of background noise from you. All right. We're good. We're good. He's good. He's good now. <laughs> McLaren Senna, brand new color in orange. Oh my gosh. Are you guys excited to see some more McLaren Senna colors? I'm excited. McLaren Senna in orange, uh, brand new color from the Hot Wheels exotic series. Uh, so lots of new mainline stuff that we're going to be seeing. So check it out. The new McLaren Senna in orange. Uh, what do you guys think of that? What do you guys think of the McLaren Senna in orange? Are you guys excited for it? Oh my gosh, I'm excited for it. All right, all right. We'll move on to our next one. Uh, here, we'll just switch on over. Ah, ah, ah. I'm trying to trying to get here. Here we go, here we go. Technical difficulties. There we go. Now we can get through. There we go. All right, we'll zoom in a little bit here. Uh, our next one, Audi RS Coupe. Uh, there it is, Audi RS uh, sorry, uh, RD RS5 Coupe. Is that RS5? It is the RS5 Coupe. There it is. Red RS5 Coupe. That's the first variation of the RS5 that we're seeing. Uh, we're going to be seeing lots of Audis, I think, coming up in the Hot Wheels uh, mainlines and regulars and stuff like that. Uh, just because I... Hot Wheels and, uh, and Audi have a lot of different... Uh, have a partnership now that they've formed. So there's a lot of new cars that are going to be coming up for those. So that's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, oh, oh we're, we're going on to our next one here. We'll just switch on to our next one right here. The Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. Uh, we're seeing more pictures of this. This is looking like the mainline package variation of that. So that one's a pretty cool looking one. Uh, it's pretty cool. What do you think of this one, Rival? Do you like, you like the Porsches? You, you like the Panamera? I like the Porsche. I'm a big Porsche fan. That's right. You and are. You are. This Panamera is pretty sick. I it, like it. It is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Uh, although it's got the world's longest Hot Wheels name ever. Have you, have you ever seen a Hot Wheels <laughs> car with a longer name than the Panamera no. Turbo S E no, Hybrid thought, Sport Turismo? <laughs> I thought that the Super Trofeo had a long name, but I uh, think this beats it. That beats it, definitely. Uh, Merce 2019 Mercedes Benz A Class. Mercedes Benz A Class in white. Uh, so we're seeing a lot more Mercedes Benz. I'm a big Mercedes guy, so I'm loving the Mercedes. So we've got to love that. Mercedes Benz A Class. Uh, we'll go on to the next one. We've got the Tesla Model S. And this one, it does look very familiar, like the uh, Super Treasure Hunt variation, which we'll be, we'll be taking a look at later on. But I believe this is a mainline variation of it, right, Rival? This um, is, I believe is. these are all main lines. Yeah, but, um, but it does you, look very similar. Doesn't it? If you look at the actual wheels and tires of it, it totally looks like a Super Treasure Hunt. It looks like they're rubber. But... This could be the Super. I don't know. Yeah, it, maybe it's, it's it could be. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. All right, we'll go back to the to our smaller view. Uh, next one we've got is another one that looks very similar. Oh, you know what? Actually. There we this go. one is the super. This this is the super. So I bet that Tesla probably is the super. All right, let's let's go back to the Tesla. So this is the super treasure hunt then of the Tesla. I would I would think it is because those definitely those tires do not look like mainline tires. Yeah, they all look right. very like rubber tires. So we're learning all together. So here is your super treasure hunt for the Lamborghini Adventurer J. We're going to talk about that later on, but there we go. We covered it right now. There's your Lamborghini Adventurer J super treasure hunt. Uh, our next one is oh, oh where am I going? My, my, my technical difficulties again. There we go. There we go. All right. Our next one is the Street Creeper. And the Street Creeper, I believe this one is possibly also super. the Super as well. So there we go. Three Supers in a row. Uh, so we're seeing more and more pictures of these, but now we're seeing them carded. 
Uh, our next one, a brand new recolor for the Audi 2017 Audi RS6 Avant. Uh, we originally saw this one in red, and we haven't seen another color of it since, have we? I'm trying to think. They usually no. We had the. It was a super. Um. So they had that's the right, normal that's right. red and then the okay, dark okay. red for the super. But that's right. So usually when they release a uh a, a main line, so the, it's not often that we see a main a new main line as a super. So that's that's one thing that was different for this one because usually when they release a main line in a specific color one year, they usually re-release it in another color. Uh, for example, the McLaren Senna, which uh, new casting they're releasing as a new color in the same year. Uh, so there, uh, so that we didn't see that with the RS6, but now we're seeing a blue RS6 uh, being released this year. So that one's pretty good as well. Uh, oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Uh, our next one, the 2018 Honda Civic Type R, we're seeing in a white color, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, we saw that one released in a red, and I like how clean they're keeping this one. Although I wonder if they're going to have the same details because we had a lot of really good details on this casting when it was released. Uh, our next one, oh, oh my gosh, this was one of my favorite castings uh, for uh, last, or no, it was this year, beginning of this year, the Nissan 300ZX Twin Turbo. We saw it in white. Now we're getting a red variation of that one. Uh, so that one I'm pretty excited for for recolor. Also this one as well. We saw this one recently. It was one of the cases that I got. The 96 Porsche Carrera, we saw this one in white. Now we're getting it in the blue. Uh, Land Rover Series 3 pickup. Also, we saw this one in, what color? We saw this one in red. Was it a red one? That was, it was in red, yeah. Yeah, it was red. So now we're getting it in a, like a light blue, it looks like, which is really cool. Um, sometimes my computer freezes. There we go. Uh, now we've got the, uh, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. We're getting that one. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to keep zooming in and out here so you guys can see it. Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Police Edition, the Japanese Police Edition. We saw this one originally released in white uh, in the police uh, livery, and now we're seeing the red variation of it. Is Are police cars in Japan actually red? Do they actually have red police cars? Or is it just a Hot Wheels thing that they're doing? I don't know. That's If somebody knows in the chat, do they have anyone who's been been to Japan or remember? I've been to Japan. I just don't remember if we've seen red police cars in Japan. The white ones I have seen, though. Uh, next up, the 2017 Acura NSX. We're getting a brand new color variation of this one. Uh, this one looks really good. Really good casting. And I believe that they come out with this one as a concept first, and then they released it as the actual casting. Is that what they did with this one, too? They have, they have multiple 2012 concepts of it. Uh, That's like a right. blue one, a white one, a red one, but they this is going to be the fourth um, actual 2017 one that they've come out with. That's they right. did a dark blue one. Yeah. And then last year they did a, a red and a yellow, and now they're doing this blue one. So. That's right. That's right. All right. So I, I like these ones better. I, I, I like it when they re-release cars from their concept variation to the actual car. They did that with the Porsche 918 Spider as well. Uh, yeah. All right. Next up, we've got the 2016 BMW M2. We've seen this one already. I'm looking at it right now. We've seen a blue one. We've seen a red one. Now we're getting a white one, and it's got the, the BMW colorway striping down the side of it. Uh, there was another picture that I saw somewhere earlier today that showed the front of it, which the front of it didn't have any tampa work on it, but I'm hoping that's uh, that was just concept pre-production variation. I don't have that actual picture to show you guys right now, but... That one, hopefully it's not not like that. Hopefully we actually have the tampa work and stuff on there. Uh, so that one should be a good one. Uh, next up, 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Brand new colorway for the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. The Holly on the side, Holly equipped one. Uh, this is a very popular casting. Uh, a lot of collectors love all the Gassers. I know there's been so many color variations of the Bel Air Gassers. So we're excited for that one as well. A Lamborghini Countach Police. I was about to say pace car because they originally had this as a pace car, which they released in the red, the white. Uh, then they released a black police car, and now we're getting a blue police car. Gotta love it. I love this casting. This is if you guys don't actually have this casting yet, just from one of the pace car variations of it, get this casting. It's a very, very well done casting. Uh, they they came out with Countach's. The Lamborghini Countach is way back, but now they re-released it in this one. It's such a better casting. The proportions of it are just perfect. So definitely look forward to that one. Uh, there is an Aventador J, and this is this one looks like the mainline variation of the Super Treasure that we saw earlier. So there we go. So we cover both of them, Rival. We got that. So you can see yeah, there the you wheels go. on there. Yeah, that definitely looks like the mainline variation. It's got some like the weird yeah. double stripes on I don't the side. See a, uh... 
I don't see. I don't think there's another Tesla on here though. They haven't released mainline Tesla pictures yet. Just the yeah, super so far. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. We've seen a lot of the Tesla Model S's though. We got lots of different color versions mm -hmm. of those already. Uh, Lamborghini Reventon Roadster in white. I love this. If you actually look at what Hot Wheels has done, we got the white, the white car, the white Reventon. Then we got the green and the red stripe, the Italian flag. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? I love how they did that. But this one definitely looks awesome. Gotta love this one. So that one, uh, we're looking forward. This one should be out very, very soon, I'm thinking. Uh, did, all right. Did you notice the first one they released this year was a green one, and then they yes. did the red edition red one, and now ah, this white one as well. Ah, I didn't realize that. Also That's actually good. Also, the three good. Italian colors. That is, oh, wow. That is <laughs> very awesome. cool. That's very cool. Thanks for pointing that out. That's interesting. And uh, this one also, very, very good casting. So if you guys don't have this casting already, definitely worth getting. It's a very, very good quality casting. Uh, 64 Chevel, che Chevel, che Chevy Chevelle SS. <laughs> uh, we got the Hot Wheel Chevy Chevelle SS uh, 64, brand new color. Uh, this is a new color variation, not a new casting. We've seen this casting before, I believe. Uh, but that one's pretty cool. Uh, then we got the 69 Ford Torino Talladega uh, from the Hot Wheels Flame Series in white. Brand new cat or a brand new colorway. We got the 66 Nova. Lots of muscle cars here coming up. So if you're a muscle car fan, uh, lots of good ones for you. Lots of ones from the Flame series. The King Cuda. We've seen this one uh, recolored many times, but this is such a fantastic casting. So if you guys don't have any of the King Kudas, get the King Kuda. It's such a cool casting. Uh, but definitely a new color for that one. We've already seen. We saw a red one just recent release of that. We had a white one. We had a black one for the one of the first releases last year. Um, when actually this casting has actually been done many times before, but lots of good ones for that one. Uh, Custom Ford Maverick. Uh, this is, it's not a Zamac, even though this kind of looks slightly Zamac-ish, but it's not a Zamac edition, but Custom Ford Maverick, that's a new one. We've seen lots of colors of that one recently coming out as well. Uh, 64 Chevy Nova Wagon. Uh, this one, a lot, we've seen a ton of different colors for this one in the last year or two, but this one's from the Hot Wheels Art Car series, but this is a great looking one as well. Uh, classic 55 Nomad. Uh, this is the speed. What is the speed shop thing? We've seen many cars of these, haven't we, this year? These speed shop cars. Didn't we see, uh, didn't we see like a Volkswagen uh, panel bus or something like that? Or the T2 pickup? Wasn't the Volkswagen T2 pickup in the same colorway? The speed shop kind of looking like the kind of rustic design? I think it kind of was. Uh, there was a rustic design on a, um, on a custom Beetle earlier this year. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to think of the T2. Now, I think the T2 was pretty clean. Was it? I haven't got one, so I thought, I'm, not, I, I'm not exactly sure. I thought a T2 had a similar design. I could be wrong. Uh, Fair, the Fair Lady 2000, uh, this is a brand new one. And funny enough, this Fair Lady 2000, we saw this one uh, in a red colorway for the Target Edition cars last year. So it's kind of weird that they're releasing the Fair Lady 2000 uh, this year in a red variation as well. I don't know. Kind of weird, not bad. I, I I do like this casting though. We've seen lots of different castings of that. Uh, Volkswagen SP2, uh, this colorway is very good. I didn't like the original colorway that this one was released in. It, it was kind of bland, uh, but this is a good colorway for that one. You're seeing a nice new red one. Uh, cool Combi, if you're a Cool Combi fan, lots of Cool Combi fans. Uh, we got another color variation of the Cool Combi. We got the white color variation of the Cool Combi. So that one's gonna be a good one to look, look out for. Oh, oh we're, we're moving ahead here. 56 Ford F100. Uh, Hot Wheels art cars with the queen on the side of it. Uh, it, it I, I haven't actually followed any of the Hot Wheels art cars possibly this year, but are we getting like a full deck of cards this year? Last year we got the chess, or, or no, sorry, the, uh, uh, what was it? It was not chess. Was it chess? It was chess. We got the, the, the ch uh, it was, yeah. The chess ones, and then I'm this. Trying... Hmm. And this year we're, uh, I don't know. Art cars, no, I think that it's just an uh, interesting one because that Nova wagon that we looked at earlier is part yeah, of the art cars and it right. just that... had like a weird tie-dye design. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So that one is, it's somewhat uh, just a special design Unique. on it. Uh, yeah. 50, custom 56 Ford truck uh, with, I don't know what this says on the side of it. Ken, Ken something? I don't know what it says on the side of it. Can, see it. can you can you, can you you see? I'm, I'm trying to zoom in here. So um... what that says. Something speech. No it does say says. speed shop. I see shop. speed shop behind yeah, it. Does underneath it. Shop, yeah, I see so, that. So I can't sure. see what the actual. You're not sure exactly what, what they mean by that. Uh, 32 Ford, brand new colorway. Uh, this is kind of gold. Would you call this a gold color for this? I guess it would be kind of. A, it looks like a. Mm, yeah, I guess so. It looks like a spectrophane. Yeah, spectrophane. Gold. 
yeah, type of color. But that one's pretty cool. We Lots of 32 Ford colorways. We've seen a ton of different color variations uh-huh. of the 32 Fords. Uh, I like it, though. I think it's kind of cool. And actually, fun, funny story. One of, my, one of my first Hot Wheels cars that I ever had was a 32 Ford. I don't remember my, my very, very first one. But uh, one of my first ones, it was a 32 Ford. Uh, the 2011 Dodge Charger RT, brand new colorway. Uh, this isn't the, um, uh, what is it? Hellcat variation. In it. This is just the RT variation. Good colorway though. I like this one. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Got the Mopar on the side of it. That one looks pretty cool. Uh, there's another one. Uh, we got the Aston Martin DBS and is this, is this black? It is black, I guess. I was going to say it kind of might, might be like a very dark gray, but it is a black, I think, uh, with the, the kind of white highlights on the wheels. I like these wheels. These wheels are, they, we've actually seen these wheels on the Aston Martin DBS before as well. So that one's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah. 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. Uh, this is a very cool casting. I like this one. Have We, we haven't seen, th- this is not a recolor. This is a new casting, isn't it? Have we not seen this one before? I, I, I think this is the first time they've ever made a, uh, a Super Snake. A, yeah, exactly. But exactly. I'm not 100% sure. I think so. I think it's a new casting. Hot Wheels race team. Uh, so uh, expect to see this one released in a new color variation probably sometime this year. I would expect it if this is a new casting. Uh, can anyone in the comments confirm? Have we seen the Super Snake before? I don't think so. Uh, all right. Next up, we've got the... Uh, you guys uh, moved ahead a little bit. Mustang Funny Car. Uh, there it is. Uh, Mustang Funny Car. The, the We have seen... We did get a Mustang Funny Car. I think it was last year, if I'm not mistaken. Earlier this year, was it this year? Was it it early 2019? And it didn't open up though. Yeah, it was like A or B case. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. It didn't open up though. And uh, funny enough, lots of the uh, last uh, funny cars that we saw, they did open up. So now they're releasing them without any opening parts, probably just to keep costs down. A little bit disappointing. Maybe if we will see them in the premium series uh, as ones that are opening up. But for now, we'll get some more of the funny cars. Uh, 20, uh, 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. This is the mainline variation of the Super Treasure Hunt. So there is a Super Treasure Hunt Dodge Challenger SRT Demon coming out. But now we're getting the mainline variation, which is pretty neat. I actually like it. These wheels look really good on it. Staggered wheels on there. Uh, lots of Demon fans. Lots of Demon fans. I know lots of Demon fans. Thank you very much, everyone who's joined in and is listening in on the chat today. I appreciate it. If you guys have any specific questions or anything, make sure you guys uh, stay tuned till the end. We'll be answering uh, some of the questions, talking a little bit more about the cars at the end. Uh, Next car, we've got the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600. Uh, brand new color variation. We've seen tons of releases of this car. We've seen we've seen this one in the Fast and Furious sets too, right? We just we just got the what was it the blue one in the Fast and Furious set recently. Uh, but that one's pretty cool. We like that one. Rival's a Ford fan, so there you go. He likes it. Yeah, I, I love this Escort. It's pretty yeah, sick. The, the, Escort, the gumball, yeah. the gumball, uh, the decals all over it are super cool too. Oh, I didn't even see. Did it have the gumball decals on it? Oh, it did. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah. this one. Yeah. It does yeah, this is the one that has it on the front. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we can see actually yeah. on on here. But yeah, the last one was kind of like a a, a like a oh, like a off tan white. version. Yeah, yeah, a tannish. Color. Yeah, sort sort of. That's right. That's right. Uh, we got the 64 Nova Wagon Gasser. This one's pretty neat. I like this one. Jerry rigged. Um, and then there was also another color variation of this one coming out. We already saw pictures of it before. I don't have that offhand right now. But uh, this one looks pretty cool. I like this one. Gasser cars are pretty cool. So that would be a good one for the collection for you Gasser fans. Uh, 84 Audi Sport Quattro. Uh, brand new color variation. This is the green variation of it. Uh, we got the white variation it, uh, of this one in the, it was the A or B case that we got that one in. And uh, now we've got the the new color release. So again, guys, if we see new castings in one year, we'll definitely see a recolor of it in that same year, unless it's a super. That's an, unless it's a super. Uh, so uh, so the Audi, uh, the Audi Sport Quattro, the Audi. So again, the Audi RS5, <laughs> Was it the RS5 that we're getting this year as well, which we, we saw at the beginning of this? Uh, that one will probably yeah, end we'll up... Yeah, we'll probably get a recolor we'll, we'll, of that. Yeah, I would say we'll get a recolor of that one to, uh, sometime this year, so stay tuned for that. Another amazing, amazing recolor. Oh my gosh, you guys know how much Rival and I are, are McLaren fans. So <laughs> we're definitely looking forward to this one. The McLaren 720S recolor. Uh, it looks blue on the card, but Rival is saying that it's more of a purple looking when you look at it uh, in the actual car. Uh, what do you guys think? Purple or blue? 
I, I think like a deep purple would be really cool for this car. But hey, blue, I, I love blue cars too. So yeah, I, I like them both. E either way, this it looks good. Uh, yeah. And uh, spoiler alert, there is another color variation of this, which we're going to go over on in this video coming up. So stay tuned. You're going to love this one. So you're going to love this one. So there we go. So we'll go on to our next one here. Uh, oh, 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 there we go. There we go. All right. Next one, we've got the 2005 Ford Mustang. Uh, this one, it looks like the custom Mustang. Uh, we've seen the, the, the custom Mustang. We saw it as a, a, did we see it as a super treasure hunt? I think it was two years ago. We saw it as a super treasure and I was just looking back at my, my supers, but, uh, that one, the 2005 Ford Mustang. Uh, so that one's a new one coming up as well. Gotta like that one. Uh, the Porsche Panamera uh, Police Edition. We we saw a brighter colored Police Edition. It was a uh, was it a white one? It was a white one. Brighter, of course. White white is the brighter variation. We saw that one. Uh, uh, a Police Police, uh, which is I think somebody commented in one of my videos. Uh, this Porsche, yeah, it was white. The Porsche Panamera. No. Police. Was it a German? A German police, or was it a Italian police? I think it's German. Or or is it French? Where where is the the this this saying? Police police. Is it French? Is it German? Uh, I I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Well, some some. I'm assuming it'd be German because Porsche is German. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But it, it um, almost it almost looks French though. I'm not too sure. Somebody will correct us. The in first chat. casting of this one for this year was I thought it was red. It was it white? I I could have sworn I, it was a red. Um. Uh, I cannot remember. I think it was a white one. Maybe I'm, not. I'm pretty sure it was a oh, white damn. one. Oh, damn. I'm Googling it because right. I'm, I don't know. I'm Googling Rubble, it. Rubble will get us on the Porsche. We'll go on to our next one, though. German. Everyone's saying German in the comments. All right. All right. All right. German. German. Uh, that, which would make sense since it's yeah. a, yeah, like you said, Rubble, it's a it's a German car. So the German police edition yeah. that would be fine. Uh, El Camino. Okay. Yeah. The one they released, oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, the go one ahead, they released go. early this year was uh, was a red and blue one. Uh, was it a so red and blue one? That was. You're right now. You're yeah, right. there was no blue. There was Did no we white not see one, a yeah. white one? I swear we saw a white one. They had a pure white Panamera like That's 2014 right. or 2015. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah this yeah, year yeah, yeah, in yeah. like the you're C right, or D right. case, I think they had you're the right. red and blue one. You're right. I oh wow. I, I I don't know why I'm picturing it as a white car. Maybe it's a different car that I'm thinking of that I saw white as a white police car. Uh, okay, so uh, the Porsche 911. Yeah, the 911. The 971 Porsche 911 was white and green. That's right. That's right. That one too. Uh, the 71 El Camino from the Hot Wheels Flame Series, another muscle car. The El Camino, very nice one. Uh, and this one, this is a, a little bit uh, controversial. I would I would have to say the Twin Mill Gen E. Um, I'm assuming E means it's an electric car, um, which, it, what does it matter anyways? But but uh, I have a feeling that Hot Wheels has made this car to line it up with a car that they're going to make in real life and display at shows. Do, do you think that? Do you think that? Do you think that they would come out with a new twin mail fantasy car and then they're going to make it in real life and make it an electric car? I have a feeling that's what they're doing. They've got something up their sleeves that they're not telling us. <laughs> But uh, I know Rival's not a big fan of this one. I don't think it's... I'm upset about this yeah, one. Yeah, I, I don't think it's horrible. I'm, I'm mad because I love the Twin Mill. I love the Twin Mill, the second generation. The third one's all right, but this one, they just they, they ruined it. I don't know. They ha yeah. I don't like it at all. The thing is, what the Twin Mill stands for is double engine, right? It's double engine, the Twin yeah. Mill. Yeah. So being that this is called the Gen E, does that mean there's going to be uh, two electric engines Possibly, maybe there's two electric engines powering each wheel. There, I feel like there's more to the story for this car, which we'll find out sometime in the future. So stay tuned for that one. The Twin Mill Gen E. We'll find out more about that one. Uh, another Bone Shaker recolor. Uh, of course, we can, we can never get enough Bone Shaker recolors. There's always, there's, every year, I, I feel like every year we've got like probably two to three Bone Shaker recolors or ones that are in like uh, the, the nine packs or the 10 packs. Uh, lots of different recolors of the Bone Shakers, but hey, Bone Shakers, the Bone Shakers is like the Hot Wheels, the cliche Hot Wheels car. It is, it's, it's the best fantasy car in my opinion that they made. Uh, I, I actually, Rival would argue the Twin Mill might be right. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, the Bone Shaker is my favorite fantasy car. So okay, Twin okay, Mill second. There we go. The Bone I, yeah, Shaker yeah. is my favorite. I the Bone Shaker it. and the Twin Mill, I think they're awesome. They're both good. 
Uh, quick bite, new color for the quick bite. We've seen lots of different color variations of this one come out in the past year or two as well. And uh, so why not add another one? There we go. So there's two, two quick bites. <laughs> Hot Wheels Metro series, two quick bite variations. Uh, this has got some weird flowers on there and I don't know what it says. Is it like a, a flower delivery van or something? I don't know. Or I guess quick bite. Oh, would I have no idea. Quick bite would, would stand for food. So I don't know what, what they're trying to sell flowery food maybe i don't know okay anyways heavy hitcher is our next one uh one of our last ones i believe for our new main lines a heavy hitcher we saw this one come out in i'm gonna guess yellow this year yellow is it yellow or orange i think it was yellow or orange that we saw the the heavy hitcher come out this year uh and electro silhouettes electro silhouettes uh obviously being a hot wheels green green speed car actually funny enough what is the series that the twin mill was in oh it's from the hot Wheels exotic series okay exotics yeah. yeah so it's so if it's not from the electric series uh so much mystery with that one oh, all right so that's speed. that's our 50 new ones you guys can see here i had a little folder here with all the pictures of those in we're going to move on to our next car our next car which you guys are probably going to be excited for as well. You guys have seen this one before. This is not really that new. It just, we haven't been up to date with shows, but we're going to be back into regular shows now. But uh, what we did miss was the Centenario Roadster. And guys, guys, this, Hot Wheels is making like awesome Lamborghinis now. They're they're just, the proportions of their Lamborghinis that they're making, and they're, they're, they've definitely improved the castings on Lamborghinis. But dang, the Centenario Roadster is so good looking, in the, especially in this color. It's like a titanium-ish type color. I think it's like the perfect color for this car. So this one's definitely coming out. And again, because it's a new casting, prepare yourselves for a recolor of it this year as well. So uh, who knows? Who who can guess what the recolor is going to be of the Centenario Roadster? I, I, oh, man. What, what would you rival? What would you like to see the recolor of this be in? A chance scenario or a um, I would like to see. I, I mean, I like the black and yellow that it comes in. Yeah. But um, I like the blue as well. Blue there's, or red, black and yellow. That's right. There, I, I mean, there's so many there was, different recolors they can make. There was somebody in California that had like a, the. It's called like ne Nemus Blue, I think it is. Something like that. I can't remember the exact yeah. color of it, but it's it's kind of a light blue, but it's it looks really good in the Centenario Roadster. So uh, stay tuned for that one. We'll, we'll definitely have to see if we're going to get a recolor, a good recolor of that one. Uh, comparing to the Veneno Roadster, yes. The, I mean, the Veneno Roadster they made was really good as well. So we really can't complain. All right, next up, we're moving on to uh, the Tesla Model 3. This one's coming out in the J case. Uh, and Granite Toys, which is uh, the people that I work with as far as uh, Hot Wheels, they send me cases of Hot Wheels. And uh, if you guys want to get Hot Wheels cases, definitely check out Granite Toys. But uh, they're sending me my J case right now, which will be unboxing. I hopefully will have it by Friday. If not, it will be Monday or Tuesday next week. And we'll be unboxing that. And that one does include the brand new Tesla Model 3. So I'm super excited to get the Tesla Model 3. Uh, I'm a big Tesla guy. I like I like Teslas. I think they're really cool. So Tesla Model 3 coming up in the J case. But here's your picture of it right now. And you'll see that one on my channel very, very soon, guys. Uh, thank you very much, everyone who's joined in on the chat today. Uh, again, if you're just joining in, we will be answering a lot of questions in the chat uh, once we're finished here. Uh, we're 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 more than halfway through, actually. We're getting we're making good time today, so stay tuned, guys. And if, if you guys have any questions, want to talk about comments about any of the cars, we'll definitely catch up with you guys towards the end here. Uh, next up, we've got a brand new. Uh, I guess you would say the. We, I guess we call this the Baja truck set rival. It, it's more or less no, I, i'm not really sure exactly what it's called yeah so it looks um, like it's a six on, car set caption. yeah it's a six car set we don't know the exact uh name of this set but it looks like some sort of baja truck set but it looks pretty cool i'm liking it i'm liking it i think i've heard that this one is already hitting stores uh walmarts in some places ah you know what now That's that what you I've mentioned heard. that i might have actually seen this set in store too I'm I not 100% sure. Yeah, I yeah. might have seen, I think I've seen the, uh, the what's that orange one called? Baja truck? I think I have yeah. seen that one, but the rest were sold out when I went to, is it a Walmart exclusive? It usually, must be, I've only yeah, seen them at Usually Walmart. the sets like this are Walmart exclusive sets. So uh, stay tuned for that yeah. one. I'm going to try and get my hands on that one as soon as I can, guys. Uh, we'll do a review on that on the channel once I get it. Uh, next up, we have got, we have got 
the uh, brand new Hot Wheels. Uh, what what are these called again? What are these called? Uh, um, 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 the 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 Hot Wheels ID cars. Wow, it it I lost my mind. Hot Wheels ID cars. The Mira Lamborghini Mira. Oh my gosh, talk about talk about Hot Wheels making good looking Lamborghinis. We've got the Mira, brand new one. There it is. There's your little ID on there. This one looks so cool. And the details on this, I love, I love the striping around the tire. Doesn't that look awesome? I love the striping around the tires. Uh, we're still trying to find out more details on Hot Wheels ID. It's it's something to do with like an app or scanning it. And we, we don't actually know exactly for sure what what's what's going on with the Hot Wheels ID. Uh but 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 one second, one second, guys. Uh all right, Hot Wheels ID. Sorry, we're moving on. Uh, here we go. Here we go. We got the next one. We've got the Pagani Waira uh, here. We got the the brand new uh, color variation. We've seen this one. Uh, previously, we saw pictures of this one. Now we're getting some actual pictures of it. I like the wheels, though. The wheels are really cool. These are, I, I think these we've seen these wheels. though. we talked about this before. We've seen these wheels on uh, it was the Skyline, the Fast and Furious Skyline. I think we saw those wheels on, uh, but they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I'm liking that one. Uh, then we've got the Nissan GTR again, very very good detailed wheels on there. I don't know for sure if they're rubber tires on these. Uh, we're going through some more of these ones here. These are more ID cars that we have as well. Bone shaker. It looks like a bone shaker ID. Uh, but no, actually, just judging by this picture, you can see it's kind of glossy there. So it's not actual. Uh, it's not actual rubber tires. They're actually just plastic. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Uh, then we've got the Tesla. Uh, Model S and it, this one's a Hot Wheels a Tesla Model S and a Hot Wheels ID. Is that right? Is that right, Rob? Mm -hmm. Tesla Model S and a, a Hot red Wheels one ID. for the ID and then the blue one for the main line. That's right, and and then the Super as well. So we're gonna get three yeah. <laughs> Tesla Model S's this year, uh, at least three. Um, and then we've also got uh, how many of them do we have right now? I'm looking behind me. We I can count one, uh, two, oh, man, three, four, so five, six, seven, seven. There's seven. So we're gonna have a total of ten Tesla Model S color variations after this year. Uh, not gonna—I mean, I like Teslas, so why not? It's a good casting. Uh, then we've there we got another picture of it. There we go. We can see the ID on the back of it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What's up, guys? Thank you very much, everyone who's joined in on the chat. If you guys have any specific questions and stuff, stay tuned until the end. We'll be talking a little bit more, and I'll be reading the chat a little bit more so we can answer some of your questions directly. Uh, next one we got. Mercedes AMG GT from the Hot Wheels ID cars. Uh, again, very detailed tire on there with the, the, the striping on the tire. And uh, this one looks like a, looks like, a, it's hard to tell the exact color of this because it, it's, it, I think the picture is a little bit poor. It almost looks zamac but it's like a dark metallic black or gray or something possibly. All right, we'll move on to our next one. Uh, our next one, we've got the Corvette C7R. Uh, new color variation for the uh, Hot Wheels ID series. We've seen a ton of C7Rs as well. I'm going to look back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are, we have nine color variations of the Corvette C7R uh, currently out. Uh, so we're, we're going to get more of those. Uh, but definitely a good car. Definitely a good car. Looking forward to that one as well. Uh, all right, Ravel, what do we have next? What's next on the agenda after our, our, our ID cars? Next. We've After got, our oh, ID cars is a new super treasure a, hunt. A, a new super treasure hunt, guys. Check this one out. McLaren F1 GTR. You guys know, it's it, McLaren F1, my favorite car of all time. Uh, my second favorite Hot Wheels casting of all time, though. Uh, but we have pictures of a super treasure hunt variation. Uh, you can see John Racer 3, another another Hot Wheels YouTuber, good guy. Uh, he tagged me in this picture. Ralph Racer sent me these photos uh, when it came out. This came out on Monday. On Monday, guys, this came out. What what was on Monday, guys? What was on Monday? Hmm? 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 April 1st was on Monday. April Fools. April Fools. Uh, honestly, I was so disappointed to find out that this was an April Fools joke because... Rival and I, Rival, you fell for it too. We both fell for uh, it. I was, uh, I think we, everybody fell for it. We it we were literally, so literally so excited to to have a super treasure hunt variation of the <laughs> McLaren F1 GTR. But this is custom made. It was custom made. It's not. It's not real. There is no super treasure hunt McLaren F1 GTR. Unfortunately, no. Cries, cries. I was, I was so disappointed to know. Uh, I think the funniest part about it 
is the day after on April 2nd yesterday. Yeah. Um, they put in a picture and said, of course, it was a joke. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Kendo Customs for the great work. And John Racer 3 went on that one and put tagged you and it said peak time racing don't look at this post <laughs> oh my god oh did he oh did he oh my gosh oh my gosh oh and my someone god. else said so many hearts broken <laughs> i know tons of crying emojis i i, oh I actually gosh. i actually told rival uh that uh do you think it's possible that hot wheels actually listened to me for once and they made a super trash run mclaren f1 gtr and then and then the disappointment came on april 2nd when we found out that it wasn't real but Oh, we can man. we can dream we can dream we can dream if you guys saw my vlog i actually talked about this in my vlog uh check out peak time vlogs check out my other channel i posted a vlog yesterday where i talked about this but yeah utter disappointment utter disappointment to know that it was not real but it was done it's a very good job though you got the th on there it's got the rubber tires on there very well done but yeah april fool's joke guys not real uh what's up everyone in the chat all right next up I'm, I'm gonna juke you guys with this picture right here, a recolor of the 720S in the Zamac, a Zamac edition 720S, brand new color variant. Oh my gosh, we're excited for this one. You know what, we, we saw we saw the, the picture of this literally the same day that we, we found out the disappointments that they were not making the F1 GTR Supercharger Hunt. So this almost makes up for it. A Zamac edition McLaren 720S rival, you and I are so excited for this car. Oh, oh I'm so gosh. excited. The 720S is my second favorite car in the world. There you go. And I love that they're coming out with, they came out with the two last year, yeah. the purple slash blue one, whatever this year, the Zamac, and there's probably gonna be another recolor uh, yep. of the purple, I'm hoping red. Uh, would be awesome, but I'm so excited. I love that they're making it's, so many of these. It is now awesome. we just need a 720s GT3. That's what we need. That would be cool. That would be cool as well. That would, or, or I mean, any other McLarens like the the Speedtail or Pretty the much. 570s, anything like that. 600 LT, Six, anything. 600 LT. Oh, make come on, Hot Wheels, make more McLarens. You, you guys know our I love know, for McLarens. I know we need more McLarens. We love. I mean, the recolors of them have been great. I would say for McLaren recolors, we're getting the orange Senna, which I'm more excited for the orange Senna. I actually prefer the orange Senna over the original release color. And uh, yeah, the Zamac edition of this. Oh my gosh, so good. And then we've you got. You know what? This year, what what did they do this year? They made a whole Nissan set, a whole in the mainline, a whole Volkswagen series in the mainline. I think next year they need to make a whole McLaren series. There we in the go. Mainline. That's there we my go. thought. There I think we go. they need to do that, Hot Wheels. Come on, Hot Wheels. Hopefully, hopefully they're listening to us. Make make a mainline Hot Wheels McLaren series as well as make make a supercharger at McLaren. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, Hot Wheels. Yes. <laughs> we'll see. One day, maybe. One day. Uh, we got the 67 Chevelle SS 396. In case you guys didn't notice, we, this is a, a, a three new cars for a Zamac set. Uh, so we're, we're, uh, there's usually, what, around 15 releases for Zamac cars a year? Uh, 15 or 18? I can't remember the exact amount. I had every single one last year. Uh, and I'm going to try and collect all of them this year as well. But uh, 67 Chevelle SS 396. And then we got the 56 Ford F100. And the the Ford F100, this is the one that we showed you earlier in the mainline series with the Queen on it. But then we got the Zamac variation of it too. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Liking that. Liking that one as well. But obviously you guys know we're super stoked and excited for the McLaren 720S in the mainline series. Zamac. Or no, well, I guess, I guess, would you consider... Uh, a mainline a zamac a mainline i guess you would i guess you would it's uh, on... well i mean it's on the mainline cards it's definitely not a premium but it's not it's, it's uh it's i would say it's maybe slightly know. above a mainline because they are definitely harder to find yeah um walmart I don't... exclusive yeah. they get uh they get um what is that called now i can't think of it they get scalped a lot so. yeah that's right that's right lots of, there there was the the nissan gtr zamac edition the r30 uh that one's definitely going to get scalped a lot too Mm -hmm. uh, all right, moving on uh, to our mystery series. Brand new new mystery series. One second here. Uh, brand new mystery series for uh, this one, I believe, would be mystery series four, if I'm not mistaken. Would it be four? Have we already seen three releases for mystery series? I'm not sure. They don't ship the mystery series up here to Alaska, so I don't Ooh. really keep up with them. Okay, okay. I actually found Very that disappointing. Uh, yesterday when I was in Walmart, I saw the mystery series two. 
But uh, there was like only like three or four cars left in it. You can see people have sieved through and taken all the good ones. But that one's a really good one. Which one is the really good one with the with the GT, the Fair Ladies, uh, the the Datsun 240Z? Which one is that? Is that number three? Uh, that one remember. is the Datsun 240. Is that one two? Uh, that one. Remember. That one I think might be two. It was either two or three. It had like the Indy Oval 500. Yeah. Um. Whatever that one is, I'm, I I want to get the whole entire box off of eBay or something because they don't ship them up here, and that one was like every car in there almost was amazing. That's right. That's right. Uh, I yeah, want to yeah. That. The the series. I w I wish we could get a whole box of that. Uh, the O three. Yeah. Uh, the sorry, the number, the third one here, the seventy one Datsun five ten. <laughs> uh, that that one's there as well. One second. Uh, one sec yeah, one, that one's gonna be scalped. One second. I have to answer someone. Oh snap! Something something major is happening right now. I'm I'm, I'm telling my 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 kids to to be quiet because they're they're being really. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh man. All right, all right. Here we go. We got some pictures of it. This one looks like a Mustang from it. Oh, that Mustang boss looks sick. That one looks pretty cool. I like that one. It's got like I some like sort of one. like like lightning or something on the side of it, but that one looks pretty cool. Uh, we got the oh, no. Volkswagen pickup. What is what is this this? It almost looks Zaymacky edition. It's like a Volkswagen pickup Volkswagen or something. Caddy. I'm not sure. I can't see it very well. I don't have the picture on my computer. Oh, Volkswagen either. Caddy. That's what it's called. Volkswagen Caddy. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the only two the the uh, we actually got the pictures of but uh the mazda fear i looks super cool yeah that we've seen so many of the the mazdas the, I love the fury it. or whatever it's called fury fury didn't uh, they seen... only make one of them and then it burned that's down? right in real life you guys don't know they made one of them and it burned to the ground but uh we've seen so many mystery cars of this one <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right all right next up we're going on moving on to a quarter mile quarter mile muscle set fast and furious set uh five car set for this one our, our first car uh is the well we got we got all all of them right here so we got the uh 1970 chevrolet chevelle ss uh is there two chevelles ss's all right so yeah, there's your two first of the one. same car in one set okay that that is that's that's new Dumb. That, that is that's definitely new we have not seen that before two of the same cars recolored in the same set uh, the the seventy seven Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. This one looks really good. I like that. Doesn't that look good? Holy, like the details. The Trans Am is pretty sick. Trans Am, yeah, that looks good. I like that one. Appreciate that one. Uh, we got the Camaro. Camaros. Any any Camaro in any set is always a collectible one. So sixty seven Camaro. We can definitely see that one. And this one actually I really like the nineteen sixty nine Ford Mustang Boss three hundred two. That one looks so good. So good. Rob was a big Ford fan. I'm liking the Fords too. I am, that, but that, I'm. What? 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 This set is disappointing. Really? Disappointing? Yeah. To I, me, I don't like it. I'm I'm not a big fan. I don't like that they put two of the exact same okay, car okay. in one set. For for that, that is true. I feel like they could have put a charger in this set. Why wouldn't you put a charger? Yeah. Like Dom's yeah. charger. Yeah. I set. I don't like. Yeah, I don't like that they put two of the same car. I'm not yeah. a big huge fan of like any of these. I'm I'm not freaking out. Not enough to pay five bucks for them. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna get any any of this set. The the Mustang, um, the Camaro, and the Firebird the Mustang's are okay. decent. Uh, these yeah. two, yeah. I feel like they could have put better cars instead of these these yeah. Chargers. The Trans Am is actually cool. I, I'm looking at it now, and it's got really good detail with the golden decals and whatever. That one's pretty sick. And yeah. I like the Mustang, but the the Camaro and the Chevelles. I'm I'm just really upset they put two of the same car in one set. Yeah. That's just upsetting. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why. Why? Yeah, that? it's kind of stupid. All right, moving on. Uh, we got our Target Red Edition, brand new Target Red Edition set, 87 Dodge D100. We've seen this one. This one's been recolored quite a bit. I think this is, I would say, our fourth recolor of the 87 Dodge D100. Um, did the D100? Was it a 2019 release car? Hundred. Was 2018? Or was it 2018? We saw the white, white one. one, the white one in 2018, but we've seen yeah. a lot of recolors of this car uh, recently. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. I like yeah. it. I think it's pretty good. All right, moving on to our next one, we've got the Target Red Edition Porsche 918 Spider. Brad was a big Porsche fan. <laughs> uh, so this one, yes. if you actually look at the colorway of this one, it actually looks exact opposite of the black one that they released. But now we've got the white one. It, it's like the Wyzek pack on the 918 Spider, right? Just just the way this the striping and stuff like that's all on the side of it. 
Uh, but yeah, it's pretty sick. Definitely looks good. Gotta like it. We've seen lots of recolors. That, that this will be now our fourth color variation of this one, right? Yeah, fourth so plus all the concepts they made before it. Yeah, that's yeah, right. they did uh, silver, red, black, and white now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, HW fifty concept. Uh, now in red, Target Red Edition, we've seen this one recolored a few times now as well, uh, but we're getting that one pretty soon. There we go. That one's good too. HW50 Concept. Moving on to our next one, we've got another Zamac car. This is the Corvette C7 Z06 Convertible, or Z06 if you don't live in the US of A, like me. <laughs> uh, but uh, there it is, Zamac edition of it, convertible. Uh, and we don't know which... Uh, we don't actually. So some, someone says, "Is there a list of of Zamax for 2019?" We don't actually have a full list. Maybe we can do up a list for our next show. Uh, we can find a full list of all the Zamax. We could do that probably. We'll try and get you the, the list of all the Zamax for the next show. But there you go. So this one will be part of it for sure. Uh, moving on to our next one, we've got a Super Treasure Hunt. The Lamborghini Aventador J Super Treasure Hunt. Actually, we did already talk about this. We went over this one earlier, but there's another picture of it out of the box. So this one, uh, we don't know the exact case that this is coming in, uh, but judging by the pictures and releases, I'm assuming this is going to be probably uh, probably to towards one of the last three or four cases uh, coming up for this year. So stay tuned for that one. That will be a good one. Uh, we got the Nissan Fair Lady Z. Fair Lady Z, uh, brand new. This one looks like a premium one. What do you think? What's what set is this gonna come in? So I'm gonna say Car Culture Team Transport. So we're gonna see this one. I in, feel in a like Transport Series set. It probably is gonna be a Team Transport. If not, it might be in a. Uh, if they do another Japan Historics. Yes. It could be in that one, but I I feel like it's probably going to be a team transport. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. We've seen we seen like this one has to be one of the most recolored castings as well. We've seen a ton of colors of this. It's casting. insane. Yeah, it's, uh, like this is like it almost beats the bone shaker every year for how many recolors we get. Plus the dots and plus they come out with new dots and two forty Zs. Yeah, almost every year, the the, the dots and two forty and the fairly, uh, they're basically the same car. I mean, uh, we, uh, we sorry we won't say they're same. They're different cars, but very similar. Uh, we don't want to offend any of yeah. the, the Datsun and Nissan fans. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next one. We got the, the Super Treasure and variation of the Tesla. We talked about this a little bit earlier, but there's some better pictures of it. Tesla Model S Super Treasure and variation. Um, there's the TH will be on the back of it. So that's why in those pictures before, we couldn't see the TH yeah, we couldn't tell. on the back. No uh, wonder. Yeah, so it's T super tiny on this one. Very yeah. nonchalant. Exactly. TH with the Hot Wheels logo on the license plate, the Model S on the back of it. Uh, blacked out wheels. Uh, very nice. Liking it. Tesla Model S Super Treasure Hunt. I mean, uh, I would say it's not not the worst choice for, for Treasure Hunts. We could have seen some other ones, but still, very good, very good. Liking it. Uh, Datsun. Or, no, Datsun. How could, I, how could I offend myself by saying Datsun? This is Mazda. We got a Mazda, the blue mainline Mazda Ryu edition. Uh, Mazda Miata or MX-5. Uh, this is a funny thing about the, the Mazda... Uh, the MX-5 or Miata is some lots of places in the world they call it the MX-5 only and lots of places they call it the Miata um, I've always known it as the Miata, but I think in Canada they call it the the MX-5 Miata So I don't know where, wherever you guys live. What do you call this? Do you call it a Miata? Do you call it the MX-5 or something else? Maybe maybe something else but uh, uh... Typically called a Miata where I live, but I live in a place with like a population of 300,000 in a whole yeah. state, so I have no idea. <laughs> I, 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 I still call it the Miata. I can't call it the MX-5. Uh, Miata, lots of people yeah. in chat saying Miata. All right, we'll, we'll stick with Miata. I think Miata sounds better. I, I feel it's more classic for this car. There's a little back uh, back uh, look at it. Uh, no Tampa work, though, on the back of it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, that's all I have for you guys. I'm gonna switch the camera view over. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, you got uh, see, Javier says he's in Australia and he says MX5. Um, so well, he's so, here, yeah. so <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's MX5 or Miata, whatever you guys want to call it. It's a pretty cool car, though. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything for me, you guys want to talk about anything, uh, let me know in the chat right now uh wasn't this released already a blue the blue miata i don't think so i don't think so not that i've seen i call it mx5 miata okay there we go that, that i mean that's in canada i believe that's what they call it here too they call it the mx5 miata they kind of cover it as both of them um and and you know what i'm gonna actually bring bring the stream up on my phone so i don't always have to to look down at you guys here 
One second here. One second, guys. Uh, what's the worst super treasure for 2019 so far? That's a great question. Rival, what would you say is the worst super treasure? T2. The T2? The T2? Oh, the T2 that's pick the up. one that I found. No, actually, I don't think that that was that bad. I know. No, no, no. You found... I don't... I mean, there's been so many good ones that it's hard to... I mean, the T2... Either the T2 yeah. or the Civic EF. I'm not a big fan of the 1990 Civic. And they didn't really change Civic, anything about yeah. it. They gave it a little bit of Spectra Flame and that's put the right. TH, and that's about it. There was no, there was no change to the car. That's right. That's so right. one of those two probably for me. Uh, someone is saying, "Can I race the new the Senna against the Champ?" Uh, that's a that would be a good race. Possibly we could do that. Uh, possibly it could it could beat the Champ. You never know. You never know. Actually, did did we not do that in the in the? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. We'll have to race against Champ if we haven't already uh how many uh p how many cars do you got i want i want to set a goal I, i've never counted my collection guys i i i just don't have the time oh. to collect it i got lots i got lots um sorry can, can you rival if you see any questions you want to answer in here let me know Phil, we could have breaking news here what uh do you follow hot wheels dream team on instagram hot wheels dream team no let me okay go go, go look them uh, up possibly Three minutes ago they posted a picture of a new jaguar that could be coming to hot wheels i'm not sure though all right let, let me go check it out right now oh ooh, ooh. all right we're gonna switch the view over here we got it for you breaking news guys uh it looks like it's hot wheels this is the jaguar it says project eight what is, is this, this project eight is this the f pace or no no not it's not the f pace uh f, hold up i'm uh, gonna i'm looking i'm googling this which which jaguar is this it looks familiar it's like the bigger one i think uh hold it, on it does look it does look like just... Hot Wheels. I'm, I'm going to go. No, I'm this is say just Hot... the Jaguar Project 8. Uh, it's it called does the Jaguar... look very much Hot Wheels, though. It does look like Hot Wheels. All right, guys. We can't confirm, but possibly some breaking news from Hot Wheels Dream Team. Looks like a Three new Jaguar. Minutes, they just posted this. Just posted. I, I do. I, I, I believe I do follow them, guys. Oh, Hot Wheels Dream Team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. This, these are the guys that posted the Chen scenario, right? Yeah, see, yeah, following. Yeah, yeah. I do follow them. I do follow them. All right. Yeah. Someone, someone was like, you don't follow them? How could you not follow them? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, here, while we're here, guys, there's uh, some new pictures of the uh, Bugatti Chiron that that's coming out. Uh, we're hoping to get some new new pictures of that coming out soon, but we're definitely looking oh, forward man. to that one, the new Chiron. Uh, any other questions that we have in the chat, guys? I'm, I'm going to go back here. I called right, it the Miata because MX-5 sounds here. so generic. That's true. That's true. I agree. Uh, you bought one of my cars on Forza Horizon 3. It was a McLaren P1. Oh, okay. Thanks, Damien. Uh, what was the best Super Treasure Hunt for 2019? Best Super Treasure Hunt for 2019? Hmm. I, I, I'm going to pick the, the R34. The Skyline R34. Oh, I love the R34. Yeah, that's one that I really like. I think they did an excellent job on that one. So I'm going to pick that one. But... Um, that's a hard one for me it's a hard i one. like the mustang a lot i really love the 92 mustang yeah the mustang um, does look good. that's one that i found as well that one's good too um trying yeah. to pull up this picture from that one guy who collected all of them from this year to look at them what, what yeah what was, um, what was die that guy's bandits die die bandits. bandits. Let, let's while we're while we're talking about that let's go to diecast bandits and uh we'll, we'll pull up all the super treasure hunts he's got he's got the Where's pictures. His picture of all of them I'm gonna, I'm gonna man, it's it. quite far down. Unless I missed it. Yeah, I'm scrolling down as well here. Give me a second, guys. We're gonna find it. Oh, the the uh, the the demon would be a good one too. That would be a good one. But demon was a, yeah. It looks. I, good, I but... still think the, the the skyline. Yeah, the, it's it's. Weird. I love the skyline too, dude. It was so good. The sky... Oh man, I've scrolled. I've scrolled too far. I've yeah. passed it. He must have. Where oh. is it? Unless he might have taken it down. Here's this is here. We're gonna switch back. This is one car that I'm 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 trying to get my hands on. This is one car that I really want. The the F one fifty the 2017 F one fifty Raptor, um, in the RLC lineup. I've talked about this one before. I really really like this one. It's really really looking forward to getting that one. I, I I have to probably have to purchase it on eBay. It's expensive though. Uh, what There's was been the... some really good supers this year? Yes. The, the Corvette Grand Sport, the Corvette Racer um that's right skyline the mustang the t2 i'm not a super big fan of the demons coming out the aventador j is coming out that's right the mercury is coming out that's Dang. right 
There's lots of good ones. Uh, someone was asking the what's DMC the... DeLorean time machine. That's right. Ah, Be- I found the picture. Here Best... it is. Oh, oh, uh, the Street Creeper, the Dotson, the Civic, uh, the Dotson um, 620. Yeah. Civic, so many good ones this There's... year. Oh, yeah, yeah. The DeLorean, that's right. Oh, man. Yeah. I can never find any of these in store, though. I've never found a Super in store one time. I've only found two normal treasure hunts in store I, before. I, I, I feel your pain, man. I feel your pain. I have no, I, the it's o- horrible. The only one I, I found the ultimate, the ultimate in the store. Bone that's shaker. It, that's yeah. the, the only one I've ever found in store. Uh, um, someone was saying, what was your favorite car for 2018? Hot Wheels Mainline for 2018. Uh, <sighs> There's so many. There's so many good ones. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say the red the, the 4 GT sub, for me. The red for oh well say new new car new casting. How about new casting? Not a red oh, one. it was a new casting. Well, I would that's say the seven twenty S. Now it's rigged. Oh, that's true. That was a really good one. Seven twenty S. The Audi RS six Avant. Uh, those would be two good ones that I would like. Uh, is there a car? Is is there a car that has been a super yet, and you want to be a and is there a car that has not been a super and you want to be a super sorry uh we we kind of briefly F1. talked about this before the mclaren f1 gtr i'd love to see that as a super uh have yeah. you heard the datsun 510 was fake i have not heard about that what do you mean uh That's did you order the magnus walk as porsche no i didn't i'm not an rlc member actually guys you guys that, that might be a surprise to you guys i'm not an rlc club member uh what's your favorite muscle car uh it's probably the hemi cuda or uh 71 mustang 429 that one's Uh, pretty good those would be the two uh let's get a couple more questions here i i laugh when you notice the f1 super was fake in the block oh yes yes mp yes oh man i know i was i was deeply disappointed the f1 was not was not a real super uh all right let's get a couple more questions here guys uh, which is better, Nissan or Ford? Uh, it's really up to you. I mean, they're both good companies. You Carnage guys take, is take your that the, take your pick. What's that? Carnage is saying that the blue, uh, the not the blue, the green Datsun Bluebird five ten is a fake. The the blue Datsun. They, remember that? No, no, no. The green, the green Datsun five ten that they were releasing tons of pictures of the Super. He's oh. saying that it's fake. Oh really? Okay. Okay, that's, I, it I could don't be. think it's fake. It looks very real, but it could be that, fake. That, okay, guys, guys, this is something maybe we should dis- discuss on. Is uh, we do go over a lot of Hot Wheels uh, news and Hot Wheels leaked pictures and releases, but please keep in mind that uh, it's really all speculation until it's officially released by Hot Wheels. Um, I would say 99% of the time, the stuff that we do talk about is actually released, but there is still a lot of stuff that are fakes that people put out, like the F1 GTR in the Super Treasure, and even though that was an April Fool's joke. But uh, if let's say that that was not an April Fool's joke and someone released that picture of the F1 uh, GTR as a Super and didn't say that it was fake, we would be here sitting here still believing that it's actually real. So just be careful with uh, some of the sites and some of the stuff that we do show you. I'm, that's just my disclaimer mm-hmm. because it's possible that stuff will not be released or is fake and stuff or, like that. Um, but but we, that we do one? what we do. Someone made, someone made a custom that blue, the blue Skyline R34 that we all thought was going to be yes. the blue color. Yes, yes. And then it right. turned out that was fake. Yeah, the blue, that was the, disappointing. That, that I know so that was good. very disappointing because the blue skyline R34 was so good. Uh, all right, uh, we'll get a, one more question here. Uh, can Can you look at the image I sent you? There was only one at Walmart. Uh, Red Stussy, I'm not even sure what you're talking about. I'll have to go back and look. I've watched all your videos. Thank you, Damien. Appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we'll get uh, we'll get one more question. I'm gonna scroll up here. When is the, sh- the Silhouettes car culture released? That one should be very soon, uh, if not already released. The Silhouettes, I believe I've actually seen real cars of those, uh, pictures of them. So um, those ones should be coming out. Have you heard of the McLaren F1 GT? Yes, of course. There's the GT, the GTR. Uh, the blue purple 720S looks like Shaw 720S from the Hobbs and Shaw movie. Oh, that's an interesting. Thank you, Luna, for pointing that out. That actually is true. That actually is true. It could it could be. Uh, they're they're kind of imitating the color of that. Uh, but we're gonna end it right there, guys. Uh, Rival, are you still there? You're still there, right? Yeah, I'm still here. There, there you go. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna end it right there. Uh, Carnage. Uh, well, actually, you know, 
one more one more question carnage asks what what are your thoughts on scalping um it's a touchy subject for a lot of the hot wheels collectors a lot of hot wheels youtubers uh that's been talked about uh i i'm not a fan of of scalping because it makes it harder for uh collectors to find cars that they want uh i will say though if i find uh let's say like for example the senna when the senna comes out in orange or the senna that's come out now i will buy multiple cars of those i'll collect like 10 of them and i'll i'll keep them in my collection and then years down the road i might trade them and stuff with my friends i don't buy cars right away to resell them though which is what scalpers do for example the bugatti yeah. veyron when that one was originally released i bought like 15 of them i've kept them in my collection and uh i've slowly started to either give some away or trade them and stuff like that i actually gave rival racer one of them um, but uh, those, I, I, I don't believe in buying in an, uh, right away and then reselling right away. A lot of people are doing it with the Datsun 510, the Momo yeah. Datsun 510. Uh, there's a lot of cars in store where people are doing that. It, it just makes it hard for us collectors that want to actually collect those cars um, without having to pay premium for. Like the 720S Zamac Edition, probably going to be scalped, right? And basically, any new mm -hmm. uh, Nissan Skyline that comes out, uh, there's the, the Nissan Skyline from the Fast and Furious set that has that very uh, cool looking livery on it. Uh, I find uh, the full set in store besides that one that's missing. So people are buying those and scalping them. So yeah, you guys know I'm not a fan of scalping for the initial point of buying and reselling right away. But I do believe in collecting multiple variations of cars uh, for your own collection and for trading later on once the values of them do go up. Uh, I don't believe that's actually called scalping. That's just collecting for the point of trading. Uh, but that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys uh, smashing that like button. We got lots of likes on the videos. Thank you very much for liking. And uh, thank you very much to Rival Racer for helping me out. He is very helpful for doing these live streams. He helps me find a lot of the information and sends me the links and stuff like that for him. So huge thank you to Rival Racer. I appreciate all your help. And also Rival Racer and... No worries, man. It's fun. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Javier and Rival also were modding in the chat today, so thank you very much for modding in the chat. And I appreciate you guys watching this. We're going to keep this to back to our regular schedule of weekly streams for Hot Wheels News. I know I went, I, I, I took a little bit of a break. Um, just a lot of different reasons I took a break. I'm not going to go into that, but uh, we will definitely be doing these on a regular basis again now. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys turn your notifications on so you don't miss our upcoming video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.